Hello, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to work with type, just the basics of it. So I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to start a new document. I'm going to create a document that's 720 pixels by 480 pixels with a 72 pixel resolution. And I'm going to select the type tool. I can just press T and it will select it. Now, uh, like most tools, they have other, other um, tools that are below it. I can do horizontal type or vertical type. And since uh, I want to just keep this as simple as possible, I'm going to select vertical or horizontal type. And I'm going to say type setting is, is easy. Now, you would think that would be easy because I just did that. But uh, you'll notice that you can't see it's none of it's on this canvas. So I'm going to just drag it down here using the move tool. You notice I clicked on the move tool and I clicked on that and dragged it down. You also notice when I created some type, it... Um, created a new layer, a type layer or a text layer in Photoshop. There's another way to create a text layer or, a, or set up some text is you click and grab, click and drag a, um, a, a box to put it in. So this creates a text box and this, and this, and it wraps just like it would in a word processor. I love to write uh, in a text box. Now you'll notice that uh, there's some problems here that it didn't type right in the text box. That's because I have uh, to change some things in the character panel. So I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to uh, click on the text tool again. I'm going to open up the character panel or the character pane which is right here and you'll see that I have some things right here. I have the font size, I have the font, I'm using regular instead of bold or italic, or whatever. That's where you set those things. Um, and then I have uh, this thing right here, which is the kerning, which is the distance between individual letters, between characters. And then I have this uh, other one, which is the um, the tracking, and that sets the distance for all the letters in a in a selection. Um, then I have. Uh, letting right here. And notice the letting is pretty big. So I, I'm going to tell it to go automatic and then it create it puts the letting right in right together. The letting is putting this is the space between lines on it. So I did auto but I'm actually wanting that to be a little higher. So I'm going to just kind of bring that up to about 65 points so it's a little bigger. Uh, I'm going to take it down to 50 so it's not that far away. So letting is the space in between lines. This is the size of the font. Um, now I'm going to show you two different things. I, I have I have this top I, that I love to write right here. I have a text that I have that area. I'm just going to go Control T and then I'm going to grab a corner. And notice how that stretches it out, makes the it automatically resizes the text. And when I stop, right now I haven't let go, but when I stop, look over in the pane and I let go and notice it changed the size. Before it was at 24 point, now it's at 21. Um, so I can squish it or whatever. If I hold down the shift key while I do it, it, it resize everything proportionally. So I'm going to accept that. I'm going to click on this other type that I did. This type setting is easy one. Again, I'm going to go control T to do a transform box. And it also lets me squish and move this around, resize it and everything. All right. So, so the, the difference here, the difference here, I'm going to hit enter to accept that. The difference between those two things is when I, when, if I just do a click and start typing, it'll type forever and just keep going until I hit enter before it starts a new line. But if I create a text box, that text box will do automatically, will automatically wrap around to the next line once I get to the end of the text box. A um, couple other things I want to show you in this quick demonstration is the difference between, um, uh, between tracking and kerning. So I'm going to double click in here with the text tool active or the type tool active. And I'm going to select this whole, this type setting is easy thing. And I'm going to adjust the, um, the, um, the, the tracking. So I'm going to click and drag to the right. And notice how it creates extra space in between all the letters. I'm going to go back to zero. So it's kind of back to where it was. About 
but when we when we look at this now, we'll notice that this kind of distance right here between the T and the Y is it looks a little bit far, and it makes some people get a little uh, they think oh, it looks a little too far away. And this Y, even though the Y, the tip of the Y, that extender, is is you know kind of close to the bottom of this S, it still kind of looks a little far away. But that's what kerning is for. It's for changing the distance between individual or between two two letters, two characters. And so I'm going to go right here on the kerning, and I'm just going to drag a little bit to the left because that decreases the distance between those. And then I'm going to come over here between the S and the Y. I'm going to decrease the distance there just a little bit. And I think that looks, the spacing there looks just, a, I'm a little bit happier with that. Um, so that's kerning and tracking. Um, I already explained letting. That's going to be the, dis the, the distance between, um, between the um, lines in text. And there are a couple others. You can stretch it, you can stretch out text uh, horizontally or squish it together, or you can stretch it out vertically. That's how I stretch that. I click and drag. You can also click inside a box and then hold the shift key down and then hit the up arrow and then it, it'll make things bigger. I think in order to really see that I have to click inside here. Oh, uh, there was one other thing. Um, you may have noticed that uh, I have a baseline shift here and that's why it's wrote outside of the box. I'm going to just hit zero and that changed the baseline shift back to down here. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit further so that that is, is in the text box a little bit better. And now when I move it around or when I go control T, it, the text is in the box. Notice how when I did that, that it changed the, um, when I stretched it vertically, it changed the letting. So I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to reduce the letting in that. I mean, reduce the stretch in that, the vertical stretch. And then I'm going to increase the letting. There we go. All right, so those are just some basics of type. Um, I would also recommend that you play with these different things. This is just uh, making it a, f a fake, fake bold, fake italic. And notice how we can italicize it or make it look bold. That's not a true bold. The true bold is over here. Uh, so we're just going to have it regular. Uh, then you have the everything in caps, uh, small caps, superscript, subscript, underline, and strike through. Those are all the options you have with this particular font. And you have some other stuff down here, but I'm not going to go into it. Uh, that's it for this lesson so far.